I think my friend Mr. Pike has saved the best for last. Oh my. <laughs> I don't think they were ready. <laughs> wow. One of actually the, the largest single suite in the hotel. My goodness. This is our Grandmaster Hermes suite, and it takes its name, of course, from the collection of vintage Hermes scarves which adorn the walls. It's funny because I thought it was art. <laughs> and I guess in a way it is yeah, art. It's, it's kind of art. The scarves are gorgeous. How do you keep them preserved? So they're, they're very carefully um, mounted between two pieces of acrylic oh, okay. um, that are close enough that it keeps the dust off it. Um, wow. And they're not, al although it's a very light suite, they don't tend to be too much involved with direct sunlight. So Beautiful. Look at those scarves. Can you imagine? Beautiful. But Art Deco again. Yeah, Art Deco, probably not quite as strong Art Deco as the room and suite. But Again, you feel it. First floor, so, but look at that view. I love this window. It's, it's one, two, three, four panes at the top, and then you've got this. Is it leaded? Yep. Wow. Original Victorian leaded windows. And you're looking out on High Street. You're looking out to High Street and the Kensington Gardens directly opposite, which runs into High Park. So we're looking Beautiful. at the largest green space in London. This is really lovely. So what kind of client tends to book this suite? This would be uh, honeymooners, um, maybe, maybe guests who perhaps families off their hands, uh, they, they, they can afford to in, indulge in a little bit of luxury, mm -hmm. special occasions. Um, but we, we've had guests who not only book this suite for two or three nights, but in some cases one or two weeks. <laughs> wow, I could see why it's very comfortable. High ceilings, it's got the highest ceilings in the <laughs> hotel, so you've got this, this big feeling of huge space. Yes. The windows help too because the they're so Because it's a big wide. suite, it needed a big bed, lots of height. Yes. Really lovely. And is this a working fireplace? Sadly, this one doesn't work. This is okay. only decorative. So you could put flowers in there. We, yeah, we can, we can put a little, some fresh flowers. The, the bathroom is the same as at our Ashford Castle, so you've got this set. Uh, Gorgeous, we call it Connemara marble. Oh, Connemara. from Ireland. Watch from your Ireland. step, my yeah, friends. Step up. Step up. Oh, wow. Okay, Mr. Pike, please reveal the meaning of the blue light. Okay, so the blue light, and I, I have to say it's blue and not red, which is very <laughs> important. Uh, the blue light, it, we call it a courtesy light. And the idea is that the light stays on if imagine you're a couple and one of you wants to get up in the <laughs> night to use the bathroom, you don't want to turn all the lights on, there's enough light from the blue light to guide you to where you need to get to. <laughs> and sometimes guests say to me, well, whatever you don't want the light, how can we turn it off? I say, what you do is you close the door. <laughs> I love it. It's easily done. Well, my mother was thinking that it was a sanita sanitation light, oh, really? that it was a blue sanitizing light. She said, because it's over the toilet, <laughs> and she's a nurse. I know, it's a bit interesting to like that. <laughs> but the nice thing is, because it's blue, it's very soft, it's gentle yes. on the eye. I like this bathroom. Yeah. It does, I see what you mean, it has a lot of the same features and yeah. beautiful art deco, double sink. Oh, the light fixtures are really nice. Mm -hmm. And you've got the beautiful vanity mirror, which I would probably use. And then <laughs> soaking tub, yeah. deep, deep soaking deep, tub. Deep, deep tub. So bring your bath salts and your bubbles. Definitely. This is a very nicely appointed yeah. bathroom with a step. Let's see. One step down. What's, what's, what? Oh, oh, bathrobes in the there back. we go. Bathrobes. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. You've thought of everything. Everything, pretty much. Our now, what is that? Team. I've left my little secret to show you here. This suite has its own little private balcony where you can sit out and have breakfast or cook. <laughs> now you can hear how good the soundproofing in the windows is. Oh, indeed. Look at this. A private mm -hmm. balcony. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is nice. I've been in the summer. Summertime. This is lovely. You can have cocktails out here. And no one else has access? No. That's my office through there. <laughs> so if you need something, you can knock, just on, knock the on the door. <laughs> and I, 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 I run out, pour some wine. That's what we call serving. <laughs> this is such a special suite. Now I see why you left it for last yeah. because um, the scarves really make this room quite vintage. And of course, they didn't want to spoil <coughs> the, the beautiful warm walls with the TV. So of the course TV not. had to go at the bottom of the bed. Ah. Only this is not just any TV. This is a back-to-back -back TV. So you can watch one screen from the bed and one screen from the lounge. Can you be watching two different programs? You've never tried it. I think, <laughs> I think it can get confusing. Well, to keep uh, the marriage intact, you be should be able to yeah. watch two so different maybe programs. On one Indeed. That's so clever. Isn't that great? I love how you thought of everything. Wow. I do love this room, but I think the. <laughs> <laughs> the ruled one is my favorite. Uh -huh. This is nice because of the collection of scarves. Yeah. So even if you have a bit of a fashion sense, um, this could be a really great option for you. Wow, look at this closet set up. Wow. Oh, wow. With the beautiful recessed oh, lighting. Yeah. Two sets. This two sets of robes and slippers. And did I hear a mini bar? Mini bar. <laughs> oh, didn't skimp on the mini bar. Oh no. Oh, no. But robes, <laughs> slippers. Oh, I always deliver, don't I, my friends? I always deliver. Yes. There's a lot of detail here. So let's look at the walls again and see what these walls are made out of. Mmm. Oh. Is it velour? I think this is. It's like a yeah. It's like a velour cotton cotton mix. It's really interesting, and I've got a great close up. It's not exactly cotton, but it has this soft, soft nap. And if if you put your finger on it a certain way, it'll change the design. I think it's velour. Wow. Every room is different. Literally. If, we, if you haven't gotten the message. Literally every room. <laughs> every room is different. So when you stay here, check the fabric on the wall <laughs> to Le find out what you're working with. And leave the bathrobes. And leave the bathrobes. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Mr. Pike. You it's have a, indeed. It is a pleasure, T. Look at that. One last view of that gorgeous bed. Don't that you want to romp around in that bed? It makes you want to do that. Yes, you can at the Milestone Hotel and Residences here in London. <laughs>